it's a weird. Don't you know that even? Actually, Ali, they're elephants in India too. They're smaller and have smaller ears than African elephants. What do you call an elephant with a loaf of bread in each ear? I don't know, Sam. What do you call an elephant with a loaf of bread in each ear? Anything you like, because he can't hear you! Are they dangerous? <laughs> I mean, could an elephant actually kill you? It would if it sat on you. Yeah, dumb though. I mean, like a lion or a tiger or a penguin. Actually, there was a report on the news last month about a young bull elephant who killed its keeper in this safari park. Really? Was there a load of blood and guts? And how did it happen? I don't know how it happened, but I didn't understand why. You see, Sam, animals are like humans in many ways. Yeah. <laughs> I know a few girls who look like dogs. Yes. <laughs> their parents, uh, they need both their parents, mom and dad, to set a good example and be good role models to follow. Why, mom? They need their mom to nurture them. And they especially need their dads. Make them sound like kids, mom. Well, it's a dad's job to provide the protection and discipline for his family. But at the same time, be a good example for his kids. Oh, it fills my heart oh, with joy. joy. <laughs>
Don't let her get the better of you over maintenance again. Why should I suffer because you've got kids with someone else? But her kids. If she wanted her kids to have a good standard of living, she shouldn't have divorced you. She made her bed, now she's got to lie in it. But okay, what about the kids? I, I'm, I'm talking. I am talking. <laughs> Why should my kids suffer because of her? Don't be such a wuss. Just call her up and tell her that you're going to reduce the maintenance by £100 a month. What are you? A man or a mouse? Squeak. One. Two. Yes. I am fed up of her calling you whenever there is the slightest problem and <coughs> expecting you to help. If you're so bothered about their welfare, perhaps I should divorce you too. I've already told the boys not to give my mobile number out, so she can't phone me for those little tiny problems. Good. I don't want her bothering you. She can sort out her own problems. She chose to divorce you. Why should she expect you to jump up whenever there is the slightest problem and run over there? No, no, no. That is enough. Just call her. Do it. Now! <laughs> Remember that I am entitled to a big chunk, probably worth about 200 a month when I retire. 